Hi guys, Chris here from Wrath of Cores, and in the last video we unboxed the uh, Wrath of Cores Preconstructed Deck of Ages. And now it's time to open the next one which I'm really looking forward to, which is the Deck of Fire and Ice. Usually Fire and Ice oppose each other, but in this scenario uh, Fire and Ice is actually helping each other. So, I'm going to try and make this a little bit of a quicker video. So I'm going to get straight into it. And once again, this is the first time this pack will have ever been opened on YouTube. So we've got the new logo, we've got one of the cards on front here. What's included, 51 cards, card book, die, elements, play, map, download. Utilise the elemental powers of fire and ice in this pre-constructed deck. Freeze off your opponent's defences, then attack with some high-powered red units for an extremely satisfying victory. A bit of details about what a pre-constructed deck is, part of a home TCG, blah blah blah. This deck will also come with... Um, the elements. Now these should be now be in the box and not in its own list like a separate thing because I accidentally added this so I've took that off so hopefully these will just be placed inside the box but however these are basically your elements and your die so each box comes with a die we get so many red elements and we get so many blue elements very similar to how this one where we've got white and black elements so I think that's a nice cool little addition to the game already <clears throat> now, moving on to the next bit, we have got the rule book, which is like a 20 page book. So again, this is uh, customised for the deck of fire and ice. A lot of the rules are the same, however all the combos and descriptions and stuff are going to be different. So basically we've got the main characters down here, parts of a card, as you can tell the card's different in the background. All its abilities, how to play the game, yada yada yada. And then here we've got the deck combos. More deck combos, more deck, oh, well, stack combo more so. One of the most powerful stack combos. Um, thank you page, and then you get two pages to add your notes. So we've got that there. And then we've got the deck. So, once again, I've never seen these cards before uh, in hand. Obviously, I know they are on the computer. So, we're going to get straight into it. We have a river, new design, terrain, blue. Exactly the same as GVE, but obviously new borders, new artwork. I quite like the artwork for this one as well. A little bright. The new lake. Quite like the, uh, the artwork for this one. It looks a bit... That's actually like a very pale blue. I don't know if you can see it on the camera so well. But it does come out quite nice on the card. Another lake. The new volcano. In this instance, we have about five volcanoes. The new desert. Now, this is uh, artwork which I really enjoy drawing. <laughs> And our first relic, Sapphire Gemstone. This deck is going to be very, very um, aggressive, um, offensive, and it will be dealing with a lot of how getting extra elements into play. So if you enjoy your decks where you try and boost as many elements with as little cards as possible, this is probably going to be a deck for you. Gemstones are a thing in the game, so this is the Sapphire one, it's an uncommon. The terrain on this deck, the, uh, the terrain on this stack, generates an additional blue element each turn. Now don't forget they are temporary elements so they will be removed at the end of play however it's, it's extremely useful for your turn. The ruby gemstone, this is the red version, generates a red element. Box of dispersal, an uncommon response card, uh, I think some of you might have seen this before, it costs three red or blue elements. Basically um, counter an enemy action battle response card Put it to one side outside of the game. You may pay its cost and play it as though it were in your hand when possible. So obviously this is ideally in a deck where you are playing the same colours as your opponent. Okay, sorry for the little cover. So then we've got the an extra uh, red, pretty much a burn card, called Wrath and Fury. It costs three red elements and it can deal 400 damage anywhere you like. That's that one. Elemental Clash is one of our rares, it costs 2 red and 2 blue. Deal 500 damage divided as you choose over any number of units and or cores. That's pretty cool. Ice Shield, uh, blue uh, weapon, 2 blue elements. Unit gains 100 HP, if equipped unit is blue, it gains 200 HP instead. Frost Season is another rare. This is our wonder for the deck. All non-elemental and or non-blue units in play lose 200 attack, and that's for three blue elements. So that's a really good card. 
Our royalty rare for this deck is Crystal Golem. Costs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 elements of any colour. And then down here it's an 800, 800 body. When it enters play you can return up to 3 cards from your consume pile back to your hand. If you roll a 1 it misses but you get to draw a card. 2 to 4 is a hit. 5 is a hit, all your units gain 100 attack and HP this battle. And 6 is hit, negate all damage dealt to this unit this turn. That's a really powerful unit. Icy Element. Blaze Elemental, 2 red, 300, 200 units. Enter, if this unit is played on a volcano you get to bury it, or burrow it even. Which means uh, you get to put it upside down, so it can't be hit. Chillwind Ghost is a blue element, three, three blue elements, 400, 400. When it enters play, you get to burrow any one unit that is currently in play, so that's quite a handy feature. Because um, obviously you can target your opponent's units with that. The Core, Core of the Flame. Uh, whenever you play a red action response battle or unit, you can charge this core. You can use four charges to deal 300 damage to the enemy core or enemy unit that is in play that is neither red or blue. River. River, lake, volcano, desert, desert, ruby gemstone, icy encasement as a battle card for two blue. Any one unit has zero attack this battle, so because it's a battle card, obviously you can play this after your opponent has chosen attackers. A Wrath and Fury again, 400 damage. Blast, deal 200 damage anywhere for two red. Ice Shield, Flame Blade is like the Ice Shield but the red version. Uh, unit gains 100 attack. If the equip equipped unit is red, it gains 200 attack instead. Fiery Mimic. Uh, so this is quite a bit of a weird one because you've got four red elements here. However, it's got question marks in its attack and HP. Basically, it's got a static ability, which means choose any one elemental unit in play. This unit's base attack and HP are set to the same value. So that can be really, really powerful, uh, given what you've got in play at the moment. Um, however, its battle rolls will always be the same, it doesn't copy the battle rolls. Icy element again. Ice Golem's head, free blue, it's more of a defender, it's 200, 500. Uh, roll a 6, you get to hit and draw a card, however it misses on a 1 in fr one to a 3. Chillwind Ghost. Rolling Fire, uncommon for free red. 400, 400 body, when it dies you get to deal 300 damage directly to the enemy core. So that's a nice little... Uh, that's a nice little aggressor. And another rolling fire. Over on plantation, uh, special terrain. Red and blue units here gain 100 attack and HP. Other units here lose 100 attack and HP. River, lake, volcano, volcano, desert, sapphire gemstone, icy encasement, box of dispersal, blast, born in flames. This is a, another rare action card, one red. You may use only red elements to pay for the cost of your next unit this turn. So there's a few units in here what cost blue elements, so you can basically change them to red at the cost of an extra red. However, this will also be good in your own custom decks because you can play like Alto and stuff like that with this. Flame Blade, Fiery Mimic, Lava Core Frost Element. This is our one of our rares, so it costs three blue, three red. 700, 600 body. Reduce all red and blue damage dealt to this unit by 50% rounded to the nearest 100. Um, then on a 5, all your blue, your blue units gain 100 health. Roll a 6, all your red units gain 100 attack. Ice Column's head. And finally, another Blaze Elemental. So this is deck is designed to be very, very aggressive and very burny. So if that's what you're into, then this is basically going to be the deck for you. I can see it killing especially with all the burn cards in it, basically taking control of the field, um, you know, with the use of red. And then you can use blue to say basically support and reduce your opponent's uh, attack power, as well as being able to draw extra cards here and there. And of course the deck comes with these awesome little elemental counters to keep you uh, track in, uh, to keep you in track of a game. So you can play them, nice size, and you come over die as well. So yeah guys, that is the deck of Fire and Ice. Hope you enjoyed this video. Any ideas, any questions or anything, just be sure to leave a comment down below. And I'll see you next time.